run through All right, it. Jared, make sure you get real low this time. Real low this time. Get real low, down. So I got a bad back. It's not deeper. 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 I'm not going to be able to gush. Here we go. <laughs> I got a real run like flowing out of me. Woo! Makes life too long for the blind to see. Yeah. Open to the door, <laughs> says the captain. Yeah. I got a river of my flowing out of me. Spring up a wall, gush, 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 in my soul. Spring up a wall, gush, 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 and makes me whole. Spring up a wall, gush, 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 give to me that life of abundance. I got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up a well, splish splash. Just in my soul. Spring up a well, splish splash. It makes me whole. Spring up a well, splish splash. Give to me that life under me. I got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I got a river of life going out of me. Spring up a well, whoosh. Within my soul, spring up a well, whoosh. And make me whole, spring up a well, whoosh. And give to me that life of under me. All three. I got a river of life going out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. Uh -huh. Opens prison doors, sets the captives free. Yeah. I got a river of life flowing out of me. Spring up a wall, gush, 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 gush. It's in my soul. Spring up a wall, splish, splash. Spring up a wall, spring up a wall, whoosh. And give to me that life of underneath. I'm on the rock, hallelujah. I'm on the rock to say hallelujah. Boy, lifted me from the miry clay. I'm on the rock. Tuesday. I'm on the rock, hallelujah. I'm on the rock to say hallelujah. For he lifted me from the miry clay. I'm on the rock to stay. Very good. All right. It wouldn't be a, a good. Uh... Hey, campers. So it's a little weird being out here at camp and sitting with a bunch of empty benches, but I'm glad that I get the opportunity to do a Devo for you guys. So this week's theme is follow me. And when I heard this, I thought of Jesus saying, follow me, I'll show you the way. And that might seem kind of big and broad, but take a look around you, look outside. I was sitting here and looking at all the little fireflies lighting up the trees and thinking, how cool is it that God thought of this tiny little bug and put this little glowing stuff in it that we can just sit here and see them light up the sky and they look like twinkling lights. And it's just so pretty. And like, think about all the things in the world that God's created that we don't understand at all. And they're so intricate and so detailed and need not a single human being to be here. Like we didn't water this grass. We didn't take care of those trees. We didn't take care of those bugs. They just live. And God created them and created their bodies and their abilities to be able to do all these things on their own just like he created us and we're a little bit different because we like to know we ask questions we don't understand things and we think that we should but God says that we need to follow him and that he won't leave us and he'll take care of us and he'll show us the way and in Deuteronomy I think we said 31 6 is where we found it he says that we need to follow him and he will never leave nor forsake us. And that's a big thing, because following someone that you can't see, I mean, how do you do that? Where do you go? I mean, you can follow them, but you're kind of following blindly. But God gives us churches, he gives us Bibles, he gives us people, and he gives us camp. I mean, I was following blindly, I thought I knew what Christianity was, and then God gave me camp, and he gave me counselors and friends and people who I could turn to and talk to and ask these questions and ask like how does God do this like how does this even work how do we breathe how do we live and these people give us answers that they think are true but the Bible gives us answers that we know are true and Jesus gives us answers and he shows us and he says follow me and I will show you how to live I will show you how to feel joy how to feel pain and just how to be someone like me. Now, it's not always easy. 
sometimes it really stinks. Being the person who always is doing what's right, who the person who isn't going out to that party, or isn't doing the, I don't know, getting the answers off the test that you shouldn't have. The things aren't always easy, but they're right, and they're what God wants us to do. And even though they're not easy, he's there and he never leaves us. And he will show us people, he'll show us places, and he'll show himself through these people in these places. And he will show us that following him is the only way, and there's no other answer. So, hopefully by the end of this week, you have a little bit of a better understanding of who God is and what he does. And hopefully you'll want to follow him too. I'm going to end us with a word of prayer. Uh, hey God, I thank you for this opportunity to be here and just do a devotion for this week at camp. I hope that you open the eyes of these campers and help them see that even though it's virtual, that they still can find you and they can still find answers. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Good night, campers!